Get me to unwind in the morning. 
They're called Kikapoo traditional tribal churches because they maintain their culture, their tradition, and their language. They speak Spanish, English, and Kikapoo. And I'm going to have uh, them talk to you in Kikapoo. See if you can understand the language. Because I don't understand the language. They have to tell me in Spanish or English so I can understand what they're saying. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you pictures of who they are and what they are. And we're talking about the Kikapoo traditional tribe of Texas. They are real Native Americans. They're not pretending to be Native Americans. Because I had students that tell me, is he pretending to be a Native American? No, he's a real Native American. So you're going to see that in a few minutes. You know today? That's great. My name is Joaquin Polendo. I'm a tribal member from the Kikapu traditional tribe of Texas. I've been working for the education department for about 40 years, 11 months. I've been doing this for about maybe 10 years now, and I love it. I love reading to you guys about who we are and what we do. And like Mr. Leo said, we're here to stay. And then in the center, wearing the black, the black uh, jacket or sweater, and Mr. David Valdez. Can you say hi, Mr. David? That's David Valdez. He'll be singing. My mom. Say hi, mom. That's my mom, Rosie. Yeah. yeah. So I used to be a second minor. minor. I won two trophies for the school back in 1995. <laughs> yeah, I'm old, huh? You see, in our ways, I'm an elder. I can talk. I can talk as long as I want to. Unless who just has to take the mic away from me, and I'm gonna have problems. Cause look at him and look at me. Who do you think's gonna win? I think you will, huh? My name is Philip Watkins. I come from the Lipan Apache tribe of Texas, and I'm part of uh, Kickapoo as well, and I'm adopted Kiowa from the Kiowa tribe of Oklahoma in Carnegie, Oklahoma. And it's an honor and privilege to be here. So I know you guys are pretty antsy, unless y'all want to go back to class. No. Okay. Well, we're going to do a couple of things for you. First of all, we're, um, yeah, everybody thinks that we're a bunch of Indians that's going to be dancing around and want to fight. And when y'all see us sit dancing around that, we're going to go to war. No, it's not like that. We, we're actually a pretty peaceful people when it comes down to it. Unless you get us mad, you know, then we'll start fighting. But other than that, we like to just hang out, laugh, have a good time, play with our kids, you know, sing around the drum. We're a praying people. We like to pray. Anybody here pray? I pray. I pray every day. Because we have a creator that looks out for us and we talk to him. November 11th is Veterans Day. That's when we honor our veterans. Anybody, everybody here know what a veteran is? A veteran is somebody that is in the Army, uh, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and uh, National Guard, Coast Guard. Anyway, these people, they go and they protect our country. That's what a veteran is. You know, if it wasn't for our veterans, we couldn't have school. We couldn't be free like we are today. Even Native Americans, we have a lot of warriors in, 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 in the Army and the Marines and, you know, that are fighting for us today. So right now what we're going to do is me and my brother David, y'all say hi David. Hi David! We're going to go ahead and sing what we call a flag song. And uh, the flag song uh, that we're going to sing is uh, it's actually the, the Kiowa flag song. The words are in Kiowa. And uh, after the song is done, I'll explain to you what they mean. Well, I'll show this to you right now. The translation means is the, that flag, it waves. Y'all see that beautiful flag over there? When y'all do the Pledge of Allegiance every day? It says it waves. And it was a good thing that our boys and our, and our women went to go fight. So when we come back, the, the flag still waves and we're free. So we're going to go ahead and sing the song for you guys. And you guys don't have to stand up, but I do ask that y'all be quiet, okay? Because this is a very important song for us. So it is, it's actually an honor for you guys to be listening to this, okay? So just bear with us real quick, all right? Hey, yo. 
یان رجا به داد یان کوگو آن یان یان دایا traditional dance uh, regalia in Pawa country first of all going back to that like, inner tribal thing when I was talking about inner tribal how different tribes come together well that's what it is you know we're not th- these dances today they're not Kikipu dances these aren't Kikipu songs we leave that stuff back home you know those are those are very sacred to the Kikipu people and we don't do that here you know not been against you guys not that we don't like you But those are just things that we leave back home down in Mexico, down in Las Vientos. Those are, those are, those are uh, sacred ceremonial songs. Now here, these are what you call intertribal dances. You can find these songs on YouTube. These were, these were songs that were given to everybody. And same thing with these dances. Who knows what you call traditional dance? He's, when, he, when he dances, he tells a story. He tells a story. I mean, he might be on a hunt. When you see him, he'll be looking down. He might be like an eagle soaring down. He might be sticking up behind a rock, maybe about to shoot a deer. That's what he does when he dances. He tells that story of the old ways, how it used to be back in the day. If you watch a lot of power videos today, we have these dancers called fancy dancers, and they dance real fast. I used to fancy dance a long time ago when I was a lot slimmer, but my mom, she feeds me a lot of Indian tacos, and now I can't dance no more. Besides, the last time I danced, I danced so hard, I started spinning and a tornado came, and then they ripped the roof off the, off the building of the gym, and they told me, Philip, you can't dance no more. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that didn't happen.
And what I'd write and what I'd share to make you believe I truly care for you. Well, I'm uncertain, cause every line and every word begins to sound a bit absurd. So this silence needs no repeating. And just another flying crow And cuts through the flesh and bone And I'm watching over fool's gold And I yearn to fly with the north wind Nothing about us Ooh. It's all about you All about me But nothing about us And cold, cold linoleum I walk the floor Waiting for him But I'm ten thousand miles in the future In a dancing dress On the clothesline Reminds me of Another time Before The fall In Eden Cherry blossom Baby Tattooed lady to put on her shoulder that living was believing, but she never felt a thing. It's all about you, all about me. But nothing bad us oh. It's all about you All about me But nothing bad us It's all about you All about me But nothing bad us It's all about you all about me, nothing about us. Nothing about us. You know, that drum, you know, that's something very sacred to us, and I don't know if y'all you know, recognize that, but to us, that's the heartbeat. That tells us everything. And we know the, the different rhythms, the different beats, the different styles of songs. One thing that's really crazy that I always love is that when you go to a powwow or you go to our dances, we have little babies. And I remember I had my son out there. We'd be jamming, we'd be hitting the drum hard, and he just passed out. He's sleeping, you know, because it's a heartbeat. You know, like, you know, it just reminded of you know when you're in your mommy's stomach, you know, before you come out, it's that heartbeat. You know, that's the heartbeat for everything. We take care of that. You know, it's Grandpa right there, you know, that tells us everything to do. So, hey, we appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for having us, guys. I hope I kept you out of, out of class long enough. And we'll see you next year, okay? Thanks a lot.
Oh, yeah. 
I didn't 